Hey guys, welcome back. And last class, well, we, we started life science, and now we just established that the cell is the basic unit of life. And we established this because the cell is the smallest living thing that can perform all the seven functions of life we discussed. Movement, response to stimuli, feeding, nutrition, processing nutrition, uh, growing, reproducing, and expelling waste. So what we're going to be establishing is why the cell is the basic unit of life in the functions of their different organelles. And just like in humans, where you will have different organs and all of them do one function to keep you alive, cells have tiny organs in them as well. We call them cellular organelles. And these organelles all do one function, but they all work together to keep the cell alive. So for today's class, we're going to establish the animal cell and its function. Notice the cell itself, the picture, in that it's an oval, circular shape. And this is going to be very different from the look of the plant cell, which we'll get to next time. Okay. And what we're going to do right now is go through the different organelles an animal cell has and establish their different functions. And the first, probably the most important organelle in the animal cell is the nucleus. And I'm going to color code this red. And what the nucleus is, is like the control center or the brain of the cell. It controls and regulates all of its functions because the nucleus contains the DNA, our genetic code. And the next organelle that I'm going to label as black is the cell membrane. And it outlines the entire cell. And it controls what kind of particles will go into the cell and what kind of particles will go out of the cell. Think of the cell membrane as an easy pass or a toll booth that will control what goes in and out. The next organelle I'm going to circle is the mitochondria. I'm going to label this as blue. Think of the mitochondria as the power plant of the cell. The mitochondria provides energy for the entire cell in the form of ATP molecules. Okay. Now the next organelle I'm going to label as green, the endoplasmic reticulum. Notice the endoplasmic reticulum. This consists of a series of tubes all around the nucleus. And the endoplasmic reticulum's job is to take certain proteins and transport them throughout the cell to one destination, the Golgi body. So think of the endoplasmic reticulum as a mail service or a series of highways, all leading to one destination. And what I'm going to label next is the Golgi body in purple. And what the Golgi body does is that it takes those proteins that came from the endoplasmic reticulum, package them up into tiny vesicles, and ship them outside of the cell. So think of the Golgi body as like a UPS store, and that will take and package processed goods and ship them out. And finally, the last organelle I'm going to label in orange is only found in animal cells. It is the lysosome. I'm going to color code this one orange. And what the lysosome does is it's almost like the recycling center for the cell. It's going to take certain molecules, certain particles, and break them down into their essential elements and use them later on. Similar to how you recycle cardboard boxes and bottles break down into its essential components, similar to how lysosome does. And the only thing I haven't labeled yet is all of this space in between the organelles. This is referred to as the cytoplasm. And what the cytoplasm is, is like the space that holds all of the different organelles in place, similar to the foundation of a building. A building cannot stand without its foundation. And in a cell, the organelles cannot stay in place without the cytoplasm. So next class, we're going to be looking at the animal cell compared to a plant cell.